Yes. Okay. So today is about GP. Can someone remind us the last one we talked about? GP. And the full meaning is? Um, so arithmetic progression, it's when you have that sequence whereby the terms increase or decrease by a given number, plus something or minus something. In geometric progression, the terms increase or decrease by a given ratio. Okay? So this is about times and divide. The connection between them is about times and divide. Right? Now, what you multiply or divide is your common ratio. This time around, it's your ratio now. Not different. In the previous one, we talked about common difference. And what letter do we use to denote that? D. D. This time around, we call it common ratio. We use R to denote it. So they are similar. And things will work faster for us here. Okay? That is why the geometric mean that we talked about in the, maybe the second or the third class previously, we can actually talk about it today because things will work faster. All right? The idea is similar. End time is also last time. But what does the end time look like? That's what we need to discuss. Okay? So let's write uh, geometric progression. Let's just write something briefly about it. Geometric progression. Terms increase or decrease in a given ratio. Ratio R. Now, our first term is also A in this kind of sequence. So, can you guess what would be the second term if the first term is A? A times R. A times R. That's A R, right? What would be the third term? A times R squared. Not to R. R squared. Because you are multiplying, remember? Mm -hmm. AR squared. Mm -hmm. So let's see. The first term, U1, is A. So it's A times R. Mm -hmm. So second term would be A times R. That's AR. Right? The third term. How do we get all this, Yanko? Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. So any term you name, you multiply by the common ratio. Don't think about divide, because in this case, it's like divided by 5, right? Who can tell me why this still works for this? Times one, over five. times 1 over 5. So dividing by 5 is also times 1 over 5. So actually, division is multiplication in disguise. I think we've talked about that in the past. Subtraction is addition in disguise. Subtraction is simply addition of negative number. Right? While division is just the multiplication of reciprocal. Reciprocal is when you flip the number. Does that make sense? So, if if you want to get, so basically, uh, u1 is the first term, u2 is the second term, what happens here is times r to get this. Times r to get the next one. Yeah? 
So this will be uh, u2 times r. This will be ar times r, and that is ar squared. Similarly, u to, uh, fourth term will be third times r, right? Yeah. Which is ar to power four. Can somebody guess what is u n? My bad. Can someone guess what is u n? ar n minus one. And that is the n sum of the gp. It's easy. Okay, so I'm going to write this quickly here. <coughs> Consider a GP with U1 equals A and R as common ratio. Okay, we have this. Uh, Jeremy, can you check if we can get yes. this? That's what I'm saying. Okay. U2 is actually U1 times R, which is A times R, that is AR. U3 is actually U2 times R, which is AR times R, which is AR squared. And if this concept, let's say U4, U4 is U3 times R, which is AR squared times R, and that is AR cubed. So let's write the generalization there. I was saying, are you lost? No. Get along? Good. Anika, everything good? Yeah. Good. So in general, UN for a GP, UN is AR to power N minus 1. And that is the n sum of a GP. Can this also be used for last sum of a GP? Yes. Why is that? Last n sum is any term. So we don't care if this is the last one. All right? So n in this case is called what? What does n represent here? The number of terms. No. The position. The position. In the case of n term, N signifies the position. But in the case of last term, N signifies what? The number. The number of? The terms in the sequence. Not the number of terms. Yes, say that again. The number of terms in the sequence. The number of terms in the sequence, not the number of last term. Last term only has one. Yeah, number so the number of last term is just one. Do you understand? Position of last term, which is the number of terms in the sequence. Does that make sense? So let's just, you know, get that. So that's that. where n is the position of term. Okay. Similarly, just like we did in AP, last term is AR to power n minus 1. In this case, L signifies the last term. And n in this case means number of terms in the GP. So let's take note of these two. Very, very important. Okay. Any questions? following sequences. I want you to state A and R. I want you to state A and R. Then find find the n term. I just say find U n and ninth term. Of course when you find U n you use it directly to find ninth term. You don't have to work everything all over again. Just for me, A is the first position. For N is, you see, I said it here also. Hmm? A is the first term, not first position. 
first position means n is plus 1. But that's nothing to do with e. So let's try it. This is 3, 6, 12, 24. So take it one by one. Don't copy all the questions. For this one, a is equal to what? r is equal to what? un is equal to what? Okay? u9 is equal to what? Work it out before you move to the next one. If you are not sure what you did, uh, we will take the correction together. Just make an attempt first. the number into A, B, C, D, so I can call this question one. Okay. Maybe we use the one figure. Have you changed the A, B, C, D? Yes. Okay, no. Second, second, second.
can read this one. So you stop here, and then you can go further. What, what does your bird mass say? Or bit mass? After brackets, yes. Index, power. Power before multiplication. When you are, you are treating them together. In fact, you multiply before the power. Yeah, yeah. I see. That's the first one. That's the UN. This is wrong. You can't combine them with the same power. Oh, it's not the same. Exactly. Okay? Um, guys, so I've, I've looked around. You guys are doing a great job. Let's fix the first one together. Then that could give you an idea of what I do not want to see. Yeah? So here, states A and R. State A and R. So A is 3, right? R is simply 2. So 6 divided by 3. Something like that. Can I write that? No, you mean like side by side? No, no, no. I, I should, maybe I shouldn't write so I don't know. So in case of anything, I have the space to write to comment for you. Can I write instead of 6 over 3, I just write 6 divided by 3. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So that's A and R. The next one is find the UN. So UN, you state your formula. AR to power N minus 1, and that is simply 3 times 2 to the power n minus 1. That's all you can do. I've seen a lot of people writing 6n to power n, 6n minus 1. Now this is what you have done. Look, if you are written to Joey, can we see this? Yes, yes. You sure? Yes. All right. If you are written 3 times 2n minus 1 as 6n minus 1. Now let me, let me tell you what you have done. If I put a bracket, yeah, you have put an imaginary bracket here. That's what it means. And which means what you had was 3n minus 1 times 2n minus 1. That is the possibility. That's the only, that's what is logical here. That's what it means. But that's not what you have. Okay? So this is the best you can do. So, however, listen, however, if you have a... Uh, maybe I call it K now, any number, and maybe some M to power N minus 1, and these numbers can be changed to the same base, then you can proceed. For example, you have 8 times, maybe the common ratio is 1 over 2, N minus 1, then you can proceed. So this would be 2 Q, oh, while this is 2 negative 1, n minus 1, which will be 2q plus, when this, this is actually minus n plus, minus n, right, yeah, minus plus 1, yeah. then this will be plus minus n plus 1, like that. Then you can have 2, 4, minus n, then you can simplify, but there is no way you could simplify this, so you stop there. Why, why did I mention simplify? This question is one of them. But look at the destination. Show that u n is this. It means when you write a times r, you must find a way to simplify so that you get that. Okay, let's move on. Yes. 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 Because uh, you have specific, right? So you just divide this, you divide two of them, so okay. since mm -hmm, it's what it is, so it's two then it's that, that's fine, that's perfect. But if it was, oh, this is the n term, show that this n term generates a geometric, then you can do the general one. Okay. We will still talk about it. Yes, you have a question? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Flip. Not just half, because I use half here. Okay, so this is it. Uh, a to power negative n is 1 over a to power n. So to get rid of this power, you flip whatever number. So if I have 2 third, negative 5, it will be 3 over 2, now positive 5. If I have 7 over 8 to power maybe, maybe 7 over 8, minus 1 over 3, 
Yes. I flip it, 8 over 27, to my what now? That's 1 over 3, you just want to get rid of the minor. Every other thing remains the same. Okay? So if it's a fraction, that means the top one is the power of the bottom. Yeah, so that just keep. Yes, a question. What? Of course, oh, but that's why you needed. Come on, next time just say that and just move. I'm interested in one C. Yes. 
So I want to see you try that before we do the correction also. Thank you. 